Hello everyone, it's Wobby Gunner Who here. Welcome to the finale! Yes! The finale! AKA episode 28 of Let's Play Sly 2 Bands of Thieves. Here in the last episode. What did we do in the last episode? We destroyed more stuff. Oh yeah, we got all the clue balls in episode 8. That's the entire game. But now it's time to do the final few jobs in the game. all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing. It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. Alright, sounds like fun. Okay, so here's something new we get get what we get for this job. The mega jump. It basically just acts like a moon jump basically. It's a shame you don't get to keep keep this out of child or you can't post it or anything because it's a really fun thing to news. Seeing so you only get to news this for spiral jumping on on for all these tall towers here. But we're not to news these in the past seven episodes. I mean you can use them the mega jump tree if you input cheat code in the game. Though it only work if you completely a hundred percent of this game, so yeah, and even then then if you exit an episode and we enter another one, you gotta put in the cheat code again, so yeah. I'll show that off in the bonus episode, but it's a shame you don't permanently unlock it. Cheat or no cheat. When I go, two towers activate now. Sorry for this. Sorry for the static noise you can hear it. It will go away in them. In quite well. At least not as bad as, as when I return to our long nap accents. <laughs> You know, when I did that Splatoon let's play, but anyways, me aside. Moon jump high up. Okay, only one more. It's so all on the other, way on the other side here. Combine this with a paraglider and this makes for a really fun, I think, gadget to news. Shame you can only use in this episode, well unless you use the cheat code, I'll show you 100% of the game, but still. Okay, here we go. Oh. There we go, make sure you don't get hit on the bar in the balconies, and there we go. All four towers have been activated. Ah, it looks like Carmelita has picked up on our signal. She's now headed on an intercept course directly for us. Okay, so that's mega jump job done. Time for one more job. The last job in this game. Where is it? It's all the way down there, so. Oh, hi, Carmelita. Chit chat. Oh dear lord, so cool. now begins the final boss battle of the entire game against Clock what I mean Clockla. So yeah, another turret section. Well away bad space similar to the final boss of slide one. Keep it up. <sighs> Except you do hand a screw up or die, you don't have to do the entire boss battle over again, so that's something I can commend him for. The hand I think we screw up months once aside from this first phase, but yeah, his first phase. Basically you just gotta constantly gotta constantly shoot at her. And at the same time make sure you don't get damaged by the missiles by getting rid of them. And of course, get through the wings. Which you gotta hit them first, get rid of the electrical barriers, and then you can go through them. I don't hit them twice, so. 
Be very careful with how you shoot, that's all I can say. So get away from missiles. Turn those wings off for like a bad word. And just constantly shoot at her. So defend yourself and constantly shoot at her. That's my strategy for taking out this boss. At least the first phase anyway. So yeah, very similar to the first final first final boss battle from the first game. Hello. It's definitely a lot easier, mainly because the wings are a lot slower, and it's much more easier to go through them. You know, I he accidentally hitting it again, you know, I meant to take out Clockler. Bloody wish the, the wings didn't get in a bloody way. Nope, so... Guess, once you got weird electrical barriers from the wings, try to fire through the wings, not at the wings, always that will happen. Shut up, Connolly, I'm trying my best here. <sighs> Thank you. She either applauds you, or she bitches at you, but... <laughs> Honestly, Naila's a bigger bitch than you, Connolly. <laughs> Okay, should be nearly done. That was some terrific shooting. Thank you, but sly cop never. Fly, fly. Oh, we've got a serious problem here. Clockla's looking mighty upset, and I think she's going to take it out on us. Coming, guys. Hold on. Okay, so here's the second phase, the boss battle. And this is where you really <laughs> don't want coming to save you. So here's where your power glide skills really come in handy. Well, you you hope you mastered master to to use the power glider, because it's really going to test your paraglide skills here. So you, your jumps better count. Because if you don't make a jump and you fall down the pit, you'll redo the second phase all over again. Don't worry, you'll help me do the entire boss battle again, like, unlike in the first game. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Honestly, this isn't too bad. I shouldn't take a couple of tries. Just got to go. Gotta really get a hang of power glide in here. I'm on top of the safe house now. I could be one, but uh, Yeah. No oh boy, I think this is the hardest part. Oh no. <laughs> I'm coming, Bentley! I'm coming my my best friend. <sighs> Lean it sound like I was it's, Okay. Here I come, cluck la 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 Blah blah blah. Now they don't. They don't give you any instruction how to take out Clockler. But just like in the final phase, in the at the final boss in the first game, you basically got to constantly swing her head until well she's dead. Okay, it's not the final phase, it's phase three. So yeah, just constantly bash your head until he falls down to the lake. Die, Die. I hate 
Watch out. That thing's still kicking. Lachla mentioned something about a heat chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that family can go to town with this bomb. A hate chip. Uh, okay. Does not clockwork. Natural hate chip. <sighs> Take it. Here's the fourth and final phrase where he kind of all three characters. So, avoid. You can eat these warriors' lasers. Then let Dot Clockworks or Clocklair's mouth and. Boy, she's getting co-opt with power now. Uh, what is up with those lasers? And again, okay, no. Nope. Again, trophies out of Wasu, but I got every trophy in this game now. <laughs> Don't touch a hologram. <laughs> but just blow out these two laser points here, so I can deactivate her hologram. Who you hate you? Dead hair? Look, it's mine. <laughs> now was something tragic. Let's get out of here. She's about to explode. Ah! My glasses. Bentley, I'll save you. And so, Clockwork and Leela are now completely dead for good. But unfortunately, Bentley is not dead, but he's paralyzed now. And there we were, at the end of the road. The Claw Gang had been defeated, and the Clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. 
Okay, now I can I can say it. Slide two bands of fees is complete. Oh no, what can I say about this game? Well, look, I definitely like this game, but I just don't think it's good as the first one. I mean, it's, it's twice as long as the first game. I find it goes on for too long. They got completely got away with linear layouts for big wide open hub rolls, which I don't mind, but eh, I find this game to try it out for too long. And honestly nothing sp nothing special really stand out to me, well apart from the story and the characters and villains of course, but yeah. I mean I still like this game, just not as much as I did the first game. <laughs> But hey, Inspector Carolina Fox continues to search for Sly Cooper, whose coat whereabouts are still unknown. Okay, now we get to know see what everyone is doing. Dimitri went on to work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. <laughs> so it's like the epilogue or something. Well, John now owns a series of work outlets across North America. Oh, I look so adorable. The Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the greater Milwaukee area. <laughs> uh. John Bazan went on to work for the EPA. EPA! <laughs> and they're not frozen yet again in the West condition, saving bay penguins. Oh. Well, seeing the E3000, say hello to Fly Leela for me. And Bender. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Okay. So yeah, again, I like this game, but it's not as much as the first one. Okay, that's it. You've seen anything. You won. Yay! Go outside. What? Excuse me, you're not the SpongeBob SquarePants newbie game. <sighs> I'm pro. I will sit inside and play for games all day if I want to. There you go. That's it. Complete the game. Now all that's left for me to do is, well, the bonus video, and show off, I'll show off all the cheat codes that are in this game, which is something I don't normally do, and I'll, and I'll show off all the secret videos, now you're probably wondering what secret videos, we didn't unlock any secret videos, well you see what I mean in the next episode, but yeah, see, every episode, complete, so the next game will obviously be Sly Free, Sly Free Honor Monfies. So again, I think this I think this game is good, but I think a big problem with this game is that it just went on for way too long. Long. I mean, I enjoyed playing this game, but it felt like an absolute drag, honestly, compared to the first game, anyway. And well, here's all the trophies, just so I can show them all. So yeah. I mean, honestly, the most enjoyable part of this game was firing the clue bottles. <laughs> Uh, nothing. This game really stands out for me. I mean, gameplay-wise. Hmm. Oh well. Well, that's it for slide two. I'll see you in the bonus episode, and then after that, I'll see you in the next game of Sly Cooper series, Sly Three: Honor Along Thieves. So, spoiler and a who, hope you enjoy this let's play, and I'll see you next time. Later people.